Let's briefly talk about everything that's going on. We have the fall of the Anishinaabe, which is kind of the biggest, latest news that's coming out uh, from the last video. We also have the kind of northwestern tribes who are trying, starting to fall apart, the Denny and the Chinook. They're making a comeback, and they're actually pushing back their aggressors. But that's mainly because the Sioux are attacking the Iroquois, which is the other latest news. Uh, honestly, this could be really, really bad for the entire world. I mean, I don't think I need to really get into the implications if the Sioux uh, do force the Iroquois out of, of this region of the map. I mean, because you're talking about the Sioux already controlling a huge chunk uh, of the northernmost region of the map, except for obviously the east and western sides. As we talked about, these tribes are kind of working together almost and fighting back. The Chinook are fighting back the Shoshone. The Denny have just gotten lucky. They didn't really fight back the Sioux, but the Sioux have, you know, decided to set their eyes on Hiawatha, which is smart because... Uh, you know, the Denny were going to fall either way. It's smart that they're going after a one of the, you know, the Iroquois are one of the big four nations that I've been talking about uh, this entire time. So anyways, yeah, it's, I mean, needless to say, if the Iroquois fall here and they take, uh, if the Sioux take a bunch of cities all the way down south, then, well, I mean, the whole world is doomed. I would say it's just about doomed entirely. Anyways. Let's go ahead and check on the, uh, oh, and, and, and as I said in the intro, uh, the biggest news is the Anishinaabe falling. Um, this will really make or break a few nations, and uh, there are no nations besides the Iroquois in the east that are super powerful. Uh, we have, you know, France is in the south, they're not necessarily in the east, but this could give an eastern power... Or, like, this could make an Eastern power out of somebody, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, whether that be Canada, England, or most likely Washington of America. Uh, we might potentially see that. It all depends on, you know, who takes these remaining cities. I mean, look how huge this city is. 35 population. I'm assuming that's probably the biggest in the world. I don't think I've come across anything bigger than 35 pop. Uh, that seems, uh, I don't know, that seems kind of crazy. Huge. That That's crazy, actually. I, I don't think that... I don't think anywhere is close. It has to be. That has to be the biggest city in the world. Because the Anishinaabe had, like, the second place, the uh, the second biggest uh, empire in terms of population just a few videos ago. So yeah, I'm sure that's that's probably the biggest in the world. Uh, the Sioux are probably not too far behind, though, because, you know, they just have a lot of cities. They probably don't have a lot of their population in one city particularly, though. Uh, Mexico has publicly denounced the Anishinaabe. Uh, people were trying to, you know, starting to jump on that bandwagon now. Uh, people were denouncing the Anishinaabe as well as the Aztecs. Uh, the Mayans have built the atomic program. I'm sorry, the Manhattan Project, the atomic program. I don't know what I tried to say. Anyways, I don't know what I was trying to say. Sioux and Mexico have signed a research agreement. Or, I'm sorry, a declaration of friendship. That's an interesting one. That's a very interesting one. And, you know, we haven't checked on that in a while. Let's go ahead and, you know, we've, we've looked at the global relations window here, but we've only really viewed wars. And the other big thing that I don't view enough are friendships. And part of the reason is because it's so complicated. Now, Canada, this is why Canada won, because they're allied to the Schnook, the Iroquois, uh, France, Denny, and America. That's a pretty big deal. Now, what I, what I want to see is who... Okay, so the Sioux are only exclusively allied to Mexico, which they just got up. Pretty interesting there. And I think it's because Mexico is a part of their ideology. Remember, the ideology system is huge when it comes to relationships uh, for the AIs. And I think it's because Mexico just picked up the same ideology uh, as the Sioux, even though that might end up changing. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Mexico goes down into a revolution very soon. Uh, who is the Zapotec friends with? England and, and America. Okay, those, those people aren't going to help out too much. France is is allied to the Denny, um, America, Chinook, and Canada. Good alliances for Napoleon. Very, very smart. Anyways, let's uh, let's let's progress on. See what we got next. Uh, I don't think I, I I know I've been wanting it for a while, but I don't think Elizabeth's going to do anything with her navy. I I I just don't see it happening. Unless, of course, we finally see that English Canadian War. But I I don't know, man. I I don't know what's going on with that. I thought th I thought it would happen, but I think that maybe they. I don't, I, there's no way they have a good relationship. I'm pretty sure they've de denounced each other, but they are both freedom nations. That would kind of explain some things a little bit briefly. Okay, so uh, Canada's continuing to press forward here in the north. They've had some difficulties moving in towards this area. Now, this technically might not be the completely, you know, the complete fall of the Anishinaabe. Uh, they still have three cities, and these three cities are going to be kind of difficult for for them to take. If the AI is dumb and they don't play their cards right, then no, uh, no, none of the Europeans or their colonies are going to take anything here. If they're but but if they're smart, then definitely somebody could. T I mean, it's definitely Canada. Canada's split up their forces. They had that big of an army where they were able to split up a a force in the south and a force in the north. 
Okay, so what do we have from the spies? Uh, Napoleon is planning against Mexico, and uh, Sidney Bull planning against Cree. He's been doing that for a while, but doesn't, nothing really happens from that. America and France, research agreement. Aztecs have publicly denounced the Sioux. England's denounced the Aztecs. Chinook has denounced the Denny, and Chinook has denounced the Anishinaabe. Uh, doesn't really mean much. I don't even know why sometimes I read those. In the very beginning, you can kind of keep up, but at the end of the game, like like you know where we are now, it's just so complicated to keep up with those sorts of... Uh, the, they're just all the relationships that are going on. It's pretty crazy. Oh, man. Paratroopers by the Sioux. Uh, they have been built. That's pretty, that's pretty big. That means that they're going to be able to send troops further away if they need to from their empire. Wow. Okay, so the Sioux are absolutely dominating right now. England and France have, uh, have made a friendship or have, have peaced out. I'm wondering if this means that maybe England is going to be more willing to use more of their troops in this war with the Anishinaabe in the east. But we'll have to wait and see. I'm not sure exactly. Now, the Iroquois and the Anishinaabe, I believe, were at war. They're not at war anymore. Um, the Cree were for sure at war with the Anishinaabe, but that nothing happened from that. Uh, I don't think, at least. Big battle going on here. Now, the Iroquois do have troops. Definitely. Obviously, they don't have enough to be able to defend against the massive Sioux force that's coming up. But, I, I, you know, I don't know if the Sioux are going to be able to wipe out every single city. It might be close. Who knows? I don't know. The Sioux are definitely powerful. Okay, so the enactment, they're going to try to ban furs as well as they're going to try to enact science funding, which would probably be a good thing for anybody but the Sioux. I think the Sioux are more along the lines of winning a cultural victory. I mean, the Sioux can kind of do whatever. Um, again, a second victory is, is how I'm going to be referring, referring to this, um, kind of a second sort of victory thing here. But um, yeah, that's interesting. Canada and Chinook have signed a research agreement, and England and the Mayans have signed a research agreement. A couple carriers, uh, but the Anishinaabe are not obviously using those carriers for their, um, their air force. They're actually keeping them up north to defend against Canada. Which might be smart because Canada doesn't have that big of a force in this. Yeah, I mean, look, they're destroying units, definitely. And uh, Canada's also having units get a little bit of damage. They're taking some damage, too. Now, what's going on with America? Is America, like, unifying their armies? Are they even going to try here? I mean, what's going on? Canada seems like they're trying their best to move through the Iroquois and, uh, and make it over towards this capital. That capital, if it were to fall, that would fall. That would give that other Civ 17 population immediately. That is crazy. 17 population. Like, you don't normally see that in an exchange city like that, a city that was sieged and taken in battle. You don't see, like, that massive of, of a change. So that would be a really, really big deal. You know, like, if the Sioux were to take this, this, this city over from the Iroquois, which they probably will, that doesn't matter. It's probably going to go down to one population, maybe two. So, you know, it really doesn't do anything. It just kind of contributes more to the to sitting bull's unhappiness. Um, yeah, ultimately, it's going to, you know, it's, it's an investment. I get that. But this city, boom, they take it. They wait for the resistance to go down, although the resistance is going to take a really long time. You're talking about 17 turns of resistance. Still, um, you can integrate that in your empire, and uh, I'm sure it, it, it's just run. It just, I don't know. It can just get going fast. Production. I'm sure food growth is good, culture, science, all that stuff is probably really good in the city. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm not sure if anyone... Oh, the English have peaced out the Anishinaabe. No big deal there. And the Dini. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, the Zaptec and the, uh, the Anishinaabe have peaced out. Mexico has denounced the Aztecs. Now, I, I remember seeing the, uh, the Zapotec moving... Uh, I think I... I think... I, I remember seeing the Zapotec moving towards California. Oh, was it this city? Yeah, I believe it was this city. We, I thought I predicted more of like a coastal Zapotec city, but I guess not. Uh, getting closer and closer towards Duckwater, we actually have a lot. They, ha they have four airplanes, which is, I think, the most we've seen. Oh, no, the Shoshone have a whole bunch. Never mind. I am totally wrong about that. The Chinook are making an awesome comeback. They've gotten four cities up. They have great war infantry ready to defend their cities as well. Uh, the Shoshone have lost a significant amount of strength in their military, this is a big deal. Okay, that's what I thought. The Sioux have taken over their first city away from the Iroquois. Oh, man, imagine if the Sioux were to go after the Anishinaabe after, you know, right after this. See, this is going to be a tough city to take because you just have so many battleships. That's going to be tough. Um, maybe what's going to have to happen, Anishinaabe is publicly denounced England, Spain has denounced the Cree. What might happen instead is that Canada maybe ends up taking this city, and then they peace out with the Anishinaabe with two cities, and someone at some point is probably going to jump in on that. Which I'm shocked that the Cree haven't, you know, done anything. The Cree have been kind of disappointed. Oh, wow, okay, so the Iroquois took it back, but that won't last for very long. 
because they have like nobody else here to defend like from all these units. I mean, what's what are the Iroquois even doing? Are they prepared for this? Do they really do they realize what's going on? Oh, that's right. France and Spain are at war. We haven't talked about that. And a couple of barbarians have kind of spawned up because there is a lot of unhappiness in this world. I'm shocked at that because I'm still shocked at that. I, I figured usually if we see a sieve with unhappiness, it usually stabilizes at some point. Usually the you know the AI gets their shit together and then they just figure it out. Boom. Suit took it back pretty fast. Still, uh, that is pretty cool that the Iroquois tried. You know, they tried. Manhattan Project built by America. And the Golden Ages has ended, uh, I guess, for my little Venetian uh, settler over here. Okay, so what do we have? Paris, Napoleon's plotting against uh, the Aztecs. Okay, we knew about that. How are the Mayans doing? Remember how big the Mayans used to have? Like, they, have a hu they used to have a huge military. They still are big. Like, their empire is pretty wide. Uh, but they don't have as big of a military, it looks like. Do they, are they still trying to figure out how to bring forces back? Uh, it is pretty smart that they acquired this city from France. Uh, France originally took this city from the Cree. Uh, then the Mayans took it, which, but at the same time, that might be a death sentence, uh, and it might be saving France for a little bit longer. Canada's publicly denounced Mexico, and Mexico has publicly denounced the Zapotec. Yep, the tiles are slowly being closed down. Canada's going to probably grab something uh, not very, just kind of completely out of their way, just because, I guess. That will probably happen. Apollo program is built by Napoleon, so that's kind of cool. It looks like people will still attempt a science victory. You know, obviously we won't see a window, I don't think, but uh, we I think that the AIs will still go after spaceship parts and stuff like that. So that's the first Apollo program we, we've had built up in the entire world. Surprisingly enough, I didn't think that France was that good at science. I th I, I well. They might not be. It just may, it might be because the other the other AIs uh, haven't decided to build the Apollo program yet. That could be that could be an explanation. I don't know. Canada will not take this northernmost Anishinaabe city, and it looks like the Anishinaabe are going to stick with three cities. They are are going to luck out for sure here. France and Canada, uh, research agreement. England and France declaration of friendship. Mexico has denounced the Cree. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? Publicly the de the Denny publicly denounced Spain. Well, yeah, Spain is in a tough spot. They they are in a really, really bad spot. Um, actually, well, who is this cargo ship coming from? Are they? Oh, you're actually sending probably food or something over to your newly acquired city. Oh, that's nice. I don't. It's not usually super normal for an AI to do. Uh, some trade routes going on between America and Spanish Florida, or I guess Spanish Alabama. Canada and Spain have peaced out. Okay, so Spain might be the only... Well, I don't know if they're going to get wiped out because Florida is a pretty tough uh, peninsula to take. And France, I don't know. I, I don't see France sending any more troops over there. Remember, we talked about how Mexico has built up. Look at this. Look how, look how, look how good Mexico's looking. Uh, and, and remember also, Mexico is under autocracy with the Sioux. So I'm wondering if maybe Mexico could make a comeback here. You know, they get their friendship, they get their, maybe they get a friendship up. They, I mean, they already have the friendship up, but maybe they both declare war on the Mayans. I mean, you know, you get some open borders through the Zapotec lands and you're good. You could see some interesting things go down. Okay, we'll have to wait and see what happens here. Um, Canada's publicly denounced Spain and France's publicly denounced the Aztecs. Zapotec are trying their best, but they don't have... Elizabeth has built the, the uh, Manhattan Project. Okay, so just about everyone's... Finishing up the Manhattan Project now. Uh, again, not everyone has access to uranium, though. Not everyone does. The Essex of Canada have peaced out. And I'm wondering it, what other colonization is going to go down. Does the Sioux continue to colonize up north? They should. It was actually pretty smart of them to not colonize this region and just continue to expand down south. Because as long as they don't give open borders to anybody, no one's going to be able to make it through their territory to get over here. Um, maybe the Denny. Actually, there's a small sliver. They could do, yeah, they could do something with that. Yep, Manhattan Project's all over the place. How the Iroquois looking? Ooh, not good. Uh, not good to say the least. Okay, so, uh, the ban of furs actually failed. Okay, why was that? Mayans, America, England, Anishinaabe, a lot of people nade it. A lot of people downvoted that proposal. Uh, science funding was passed. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and check the uh, let's go ahead and check the victory progress screen. What do we have here? 
So only, yeah, I was right. So Napoleon is the only one to build the Apollo program so far. But I don't think they're number one in science, are they? I Let's double check on that. Uh, Info Addicts. Let's see how we're doing in technologies overall in this world. Venice, okay, that's me. Okay, so France is dominating. They are winning the science game. I had no idea. I, I, yeah, I had no idea. The Anishinaabe seem to be doing okay, but I'm pretty sure they're probably going to fall behind in technology. I, I'm pretty sure if we look at uh, science per turn or whatever that category is technically called, science, I guess, is just what it's called. Yeah, see, this is this is important. See, the Anishinaabe are all the way down here at only, gener only generating 532 science per turn. I know it's only with three cities, but 532 science is not that good. By turn 310, that's bad. That is bad. General rule of thumb, which I, which I think I've talked about this many times before in the past, you kind of want to be double the turns. Obviously, you can't really do that in the very beginning. You know, turn one, you know, turn one to 100. Uh, you can't possibly. It's very, very hard to get 200 science per turn by turn 100. But uh, eventually, by the later parts of the game, you should be at that that area. Uh, double the turn. So the Anishinaabe are not doing so good. They're close, I guess, to double the turn. Um, but I uh, I think that they're going to start to lose some some of the, that that power, I guess, in the technology category here. The Sioux are very, very close behind, tied for second, so it might be between France and the Sioux, but technically the Mayans are doing good, but I don't see the Mayans surviving for very much longer. Neither do I see the Iroquois surviving for much longer. America has a chance, England and Canada. I would say they all kind of have a chance. The Cree, it would, and Denny, or actually Denny, no, because the Denny have probably... They probably lost so much of their science per turn that they'll drop pretty drastically too. Uh, Mexico, even though they have a huge military, is actually at the bottom in terms of technologies discovered. So that should be something that we think about. Uh, just because Mexico has this awesome force here in uh, in modern day Texas doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be able to just dominate anybody. Because uh, well, the Zapotec have more technology, a bit, yeah. Because you, you you'd be talking about great war infantry versus infantry, but still the numbers are on Mexico's side, so that's something to keep in mind. Anyways, let's go to the next turn. Mexico's denounced America. Okay, a couple privateers are located out here, built by uh, built in Mexico City. Seems like the Mayans have somewhat of a hold here on the capital. I don't know if the capital is just going to fall. I feel like, if anything, if the Mayans get eliminated, it's because their northern um, empire here is going to get eliminated by... I, I would say the Sioux. It would have to be the Sioux, right? I don't see anybody else being able, being able to build a military uh, to, to take over all these cities. But then again, France is strong. It's just I don't know what the heck France is doing. Maybe France is doing the right thing. Maybe France... I think maybe they are doing the right thing. They they know that the Sioux army is slowly approaching from the north, taking over Iroquois cities one by one. If they stay out of wars, they continue to build up their forces, then they might prepare themselves if they need to defend uh, maybe a possible science victory. Maybe they have, you know, one more s spaceship part at some point when the Sioux declare war on Napoleon. If, if they haven't gone to war and they continue to, you know, have built up units, it's possible. It's possible for them to defend for enough time. Uh, this is also a French settler... They're probably going to colonize this region, which is smart. Oh, Canada is going to steal that away from them. Uh, remember that Paris is all the way down south. So in order for the Sioux to actually do some pretty major damage to their science output, and uh, I I'm guessing that Paris is probably contributing m the most to science, although Orleans is a pretty big city too. Uh, still something to keep in mind. Anyways, let's go to the next turn. I don't know exactly. We do need to double check on possibly some bombs. I, I do want to check on maybe so a few bombs here and there. But we'll check on the next video. I don't think so. Again, like Manhattan Projects, had, I guess they've been being built for the last like several videos now. But uh, so there are some people obviously like the Anishinaabe in England just bit finishing up their own Manhattan Projects. Uh, but I know that they're, I know France and, and the Sioux, they might possibly have some atomic weapons. Um, which, if France does, then that would be really, really good for them, obviously. Uh, atomic weapons would be the best case scenario to defend against this huge force. Wow. Wow, that is scary. So obviously, if you pick the Sioux, you're looking pretty happy. But it's not necessarily a guaranteed victory. Because I, I don't think I'm going to do a second victory by just looking at the Infoatics. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to do a second victory by looking at who would have won a victory. Uh, because I, I didn't plan on doing an info addicts victory and let's just say Canada, you know, didn't, didn't actually win that diplomatic victory. We'd be looking at a science victory, a cultural victory. Those are probably the two other possible, uh, victory types, you know, cause domination's not going to be possible within a relative amount of, I don't know, uh, somewhat of a reasonable time. Anyways, guys, I'm going to have to stop right there. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.